welcome back to my channel. For some of you, it might not feel like I was gone, but for me, it felt like it's been forever since the last time I recorded, and I am so excited to be back. I just feel like I've been rejuvenated after going to Disneyland, and I had so much fun, and it was so wonderful being able to meet some of you guys. Honestly, that was probably the favorite part of my trip was being able to meet you guys and just see you guys face to face because a lot of times, like, it's just me in my room recording videos and talking to myself in the camera. It was really nice to be able to make that connection and finally meet you guys in person. I loved it. So today's video, I wanted to save it for a little bit later, but then I realized, oh shoot, I only have one day to film and post a video. So I decided to do this one as my first Disneyland video because that's what I had the most footage of. And it's about meeting characters, which I know some of you might think, oh, hey, Mackenzie, didn't you already do a video talking about meeting Disney characters? That's because I did, but I hadn't been to Disneyland in about five years or so, and even the last time I went, my focus was not on meeting characters at all, and I realized that, like, it's completely different at Disneyland in comparison to Disney World, so I wanted to do a video just on meeting characters at Disneyland because it was so different for me, and I want to make sure that you guys are the most successful on your trips when it comes to fun finding characters and meeting them and just having amazing interactions overall. So I hope you guys are excited for, I guess, part two of meeting Disney characters and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so first off, I really want to talk about the idea of roaming characters because this concept is null at Disney World. Like it doesn't even exist at Disney World. I know that they've tried it before with like Flynn Rider and it just hasn't gone well. However, it is a big thing over at Disneyland. I would say the majority of the characters that I met were roaming characters. So what roaming means is that they were gonna walk around the park. Sometimes they don't stop. Sometimes they go off into random locations that they're not supposed to be when it comes to it being planned out on the app. For example, over at Disney World, if you want to go meet the princesses in Princess Fairy Tale Hall, they have a section in a building where you can meet them and you know pretty much exactly who you're going to meet unless there's a visiting princess. They have the same concept at Disneyland and the main princesses you will meet are Ariel, Snowy, and Cinderella. So there are set locations where you know that if you go there and wait in time, wait in line at that queue, you will be meeting those characters. However, there are a lot of characters that will just walk around. I have an example of this I will show you guys in a clip right now. It was Aladdin and we saw him walking around and literally it's like a celebrity where you see people like hovering around him. He can't really walk around too much. He can't walk too fast because there's so many people around him. They have cameras in his face. They're shoving autographs books in there too. They're trying to get pictures. It looks like complete and utter chaos. However, for Disneyland and the layout, somehow it works. I know at Disney World they've tried it and it just doesn't really work for the type of audience they have. But we saw tons of examples of this. I saw what happened with Peter Pan. I saw what happened with Gaston. It happened with Belle and the Beast. For those of you who are wanting to meet those characters, you either have to look at the app and figure out what time they're going to be at or ask an attendant like where they're going to be. Sorry, they're called hosts over there, but they're basically like character attendants. They'll have little buttons that say, ask me about characters. And if you want to meet characters, you should definitely ask them what the schedule looks like, who's going to be out that day, and that helped us a lot when it came to planning who we wanted to meet. So the app helped when it came to set times, but for example, I really, really, really wanted to get Dr. Facilier's signature because I have this big autograph book, and he was one of the few characters I didn't have signed it when I was in Disney World. So in order to find him, I saw on the app that he was meeting for about, it looked like 15 minutes. And it just gave me a general area. It just said the, the New Orleans area. Well, I've seen pictures of him before down by the riverboats. I've seen pictures of him right in front of Pirates of the Caribbean. There's so many different places in that section where he can meet and he can just go wherever he wants. So you could spend the entire set time just looking for him because, especially because it's so crowded because of spring break, you can't really move a whole lot. So that was a huge challenge. Luckily we found him, there was four of us all together, me and my three friends, so we were able to finally find him, but I was so nervous because I really wanted to find him, but it's such a big area where he could be, it's not like he will be exactly in this location. All this to say, there are a lot of characters that just moved wherever they want without any sort of rhyme or reason. So if you want to meet a very specific character, I think I would go on the app in the morning, look up their set times, find an attendant in that area and ask them what time they're coming out, where they think they're going to be, and then just wait to meet them because it's really, really, really hard 
to plan that out in comparison to Disney World where you know that they're going to be in this exact spot at this exact time. The next thing I wanted to talk about is that it seems like in comparison to Disney World there's less of a focus on efficiency and more of a focus on having fun. So when you go to Disney World they have so many different character meet and greet opportunities. I feel like they have it down to a science because they really need to in order to make sure that the, all their guests get the same experience. However at Disneyland I feel like because of even like the roaming stuff like there's just so many differences when it comes to interactions there the characters really have the freedom to have more fun. For example I saw Tigger and he had this little bouncing parade with some of the kids. Another good example and I think I have a video of this too is Peter Pan and he is walking with a little boy and it is so cute. You'll see characters doing this all the time where they're taking some of the younger guests and they're walking them through Fantasyland and Basically by having more opportunities to kind of roam around and it gives the characters more freedom to make those magical moments happen. Kind of going off my first point, but there are very few characters that are at a set location. So over in Disney World, the equivalent of this is Princess Fairytale Hall. I'm not sure what it's called in Disneyland, but that is the equivalent. And typically you can meet Snow White, Ariel, and Cinderella in the hall. Sometimes they will have a royal guest visiting instead, but those are typically the three princesses you will meet. But another place where you are guaranteed to meet characters if you wait in a standard queue is over in Toontown. You can meet Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse as well. Well. So what I would do is I would maybe try to meet those characters that roam around a little bit if there's any specifically that you really want to meet. Kind of like me with Dr. Facilier. I really wanted to meet him so I made sure that I prioritized that over seeing a character in a set location that I know that they're going to be at. I was very surprised to see that there's a lot less photo pass opportunities than there are at Disney World. What photo pass is, is the name for that they call the photographers. At Disney World you have these photo pass photographers at every single meet and greet location and you'll also have them in different spots throughout the park. You'll have them in front of the castle, maybe off to the side of the castle, you'll have them on Main Street, you'll have like several different locations on Main Street. It's pretty big in Disney World. My biggest thing, especially on this trip, was making sure that I balanced enjoying the moment and living in the moment and really appreciating my time there and photographing it. Obviously I love taking photos and I love taking videos but I tried really really hard to just take some time away from a social media and my electronics and really just enjoy my time there because I paid a lot of money to be there. I want to enjoy those memories. Maybe it's your little girl's first time seeing Tinkerbell. Obviously you're going to want to live in that moment and enjoy it but you also want to have photos to remember that memory by too. What's great about PhotoPass is they can take photos of that so there's a little bit less stress on you doing that and it gives you the freedom to really enjoy it in the moment. So unfortunately at Disneyland they don't have as many photo pass opportunities. There's not any when you meet the princesses at their set locations. There's not really any walking around either with those roaming characters. I saw photo pass when we were in meeting Mickey Mouse in Toontown and also when I met Goofy in California Adventure. Other than that there really wasn't any photo pass opportunities. They were very very slim. This is good for you guys to know in advance so that way you can be prepared and have your camera out so that you don't miss any moments especially if you want to get it on film or take pictures of it too. So those are the biggest differences that I saw when I was visiting Disneyland. Again, once I kind of realized what was going on and figured out that what the differences were, I had so much fun meeting characters and I had a lot of great interactions and I was very successful in meeting as many characters as possible. So I just want to make sure that you guys were just as prepared as I was once I figured out how it worked. And now I have a surprise for you guys. So I know in my last video I asked characters what they like to talk about to kind of give you guys a good idea of what to talk with them. This time instead I asked the characters what they like to do. I didn't give them any specific questions. I kind of kept it general because I wanted to see how they would answer. So I'm so excited to show you guys what these characters like to do. Hi, I'm Tinkerbell from Disneyland. I wish you were here right now. I like pumpkin muffins and I like to tinker so I like to make things. Now pumpkin muffins are only for the fall season but a lot of mainlanders think that. And if you want to come tinker with me, that would be really, really, really fun. I think I would put on a workshop for all the mainlanders because a lot of mainlanders don't know how to tinker. But you just have to discover what your talent is and then do it all the time. Fly with you later. I like to go sandboarding and I like to eat churros and bread and I like to play tricks on a boo. I can go on and on. I just like to do a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Churros are good. One of my favorites for sure is going on carpet rides with Princess Jasmine. Can't yeah. say I blame you, she's pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Have a great day. Hey, Flynn Rider and Rapunzel here at Disneyland. So what we love doing is, uh, well, going on dates. 
-hmm. I highly recommend a lantern date in the water. Yes, I mean, bring a, a canoe. Yes, <laughs> right, make right, sure yeah. you bring the boat. Sometimes <laughs> right. we forget the boat. A couple thousand will do. It's amazing. Oh, and a smoldering. Uh, fair warning, here it comes. <laughs> we also things. like to host a talent show in the Snuggly Duckling oh, yes. where all of our princess can come to visit and all of them have different talents that they get to perform. Right, and non-princesses, like exactly. really smelly, like big Vladimir. guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what don't I like to do? Uh, I don't like to be hungry, so I like to eat. That's perfect. Yes. Um, you don't like to be warm, so she likes to be cold. <laughs> my favorite things to do. I think my favorite thing would have to be spending time with Prince Charming. We always love to have a romantic dinner together. Oh, and we love to spend our anniversary together. That's one of my favorite things. He always buys me a new pair of glass slippers every anniversary and hides one throughout my castle for me to find. It's just the sweetest and the most romantic, of course. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Ariel here at Disneyland. I have been practicing my human legs here so much and some of my favorite things to do are dancing and twirling around. I could do one for you. <laughs> I just love being on land so much. See you all next time. <laughs> Hello everyone, Princess Aurora here at Disneyland. My favorite thing to do besides napping, of course, would probably be picking berries with my three fairies. They always fight over which ones to pick with the bugs different colors. There's blueberries and raspberries, and then there's combination of berries, so it's just so hard to pick. <laughs> I've been told you want to know what I like to do with my day, so I suppose I'll tell you a few things. Well, first, I never do any chores myself. I make all my servants do it. I make them go into the apple orchards and pick apples to me while I watch. I also walk around my castle while my servants follow me and they paint portraits of me so I can line the walls with them. Is that enough? Sounds great. Excellent. Oh my goodness, I have so many things I like to do for fun. But just today, I was with the dwarves and we were out picking flowers to surprise my prince. But then, I picked all these flowers at the end of the day, sneezy. Oh my goodness, the flowers always make him sneeze and he sneezed all the petals off. <laughs> It could be so funny, but really I like doing anything with my dwarves. Those would be my favorite things to do. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, darling, furs. Oh, I live for furs. I worship furs. After all, is there anyone in this wretched world who does it? You know, my dearest Flinita. She married Roger. Roger Radcliffe. Idiot! But not every Gwen can be me. Ugh, furs are much better company than men, just remember that. Oh. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm so excited to film the rest of my Disney videos, add some clips in there from when I was vlogging, and show you guys what I have in store for the next couple Disney videos. I have some really great ideas, and I also need to throw in a makeup tutorial or two because it's been a hot second since I did a makeup video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!